Laptops. Laptops are resourceful for our needs, but there is one problem we always complain about, the need of laptop chargers. A few weeks ago, I had a problem with mine. It wouldn't charge my laptop at all. Confused, I found resourceful this project to understand more this topic and my problem. So, how laptop chargers work? Um, scratch, what is a laptop charger? A laptop charger is an AC-DC power adapter designed to accept a certain AC input and convert it to particular DC output. The key is to match the DC output of the adapter to DC input of the laptop. AC adapters are used with electrical devices that require power but do not contain internal components. To the right, they require voltage and power from the main. Now, an AC-DC laptop charger has three parts a power cord, an AC power adapter, and an adapter plug. The AC power adapter is made up of a central unit with, which draws power from an outlet and a second cord which plugs into the computer. What are we interested in is the physics behind the central unit. Inside, there is a transformer, four diodes in a bridge rectifier, and an electrolyte capacitor to smooth the waveform. The purpose of the transformer is to convert one AC voltage to another AC voltage. In this case, the transformer converts the 120 volts AC current from my house down to 19.5 volts for my laptop. It starts with 120 volts coming in on the primary winding. Running down the middle and outside of the winding is an iron core with very high magnetic permeability. The current in the winding creates an alternating magnetic field in the iron with attracting and repelling forces to create rotational motion. The secondary winding wraps around the same core. The voltage in the secondary is controlled by the ratio of the numbers of turns in the two windings. So, if the primary and secondary windings have the same number of turns, the primary and secondary voltage will be the same. If the secondary have as many turns as the primary, then the voltage in the secondary will be half. You can see that the primary in, the, in this particular transformer uses very fine wire, while the secondary uses much thicker wire. To drop down to 19.5 volts, there needs to be six times more turns in the primary than in the secondary. On the other side of the transformer, you find two diodes wrapped in rubber insulation. The diodes act as a rectifier, turning the AC current to DC current. This provides the same polarity of output for either polarity of input. Now that we have an idea how chargers turn AC to DC, why are they warm when in use? This is because when they convert energy, some of it is wasted and released as heat. On the other hand, when we talk about power in our electronics, we have to review what is voltage and current. Voltage is measured in volts, and current is measured in amps, and let's not forget about resistance measured in ohms. As you can see, the power adapter shows the voltage in the amps, but does not show resistance. Each AC adapter has a specific power rating, measured in volts or watts, that it can handle and output to an electronic device. Because of the power rating and the type of plug on the end, an AC adapter is not universal and can only be used with devices with the same requirements and connector. Also, tweaking any of these three variables increases or decreases the amount of electrical power sent to the laptop. It is important because too little power means the laptop won't charge or operate correctly. Too much power generates excess heat, which is the bane of sensitive electronics. We can find the power by multiplying the voltage by the current. However, the number of watts alone won't tell you if the adapter is right for the device, but will give you how much power your laptop needs to work. So, voltage as 19.5 volts times current as 2.31 amps, the result is 45 watts, which gives a good estimate as measured with a kilowatt having 48.7 watts. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video.